Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install an outlet just like this. Just as a reminder, electricity is dangerous, it can be deadly. Always consult a licensed electrician uh, or have them do your work. The tools that we're going to be using are a pair of wire strippers, a Phillips screwdriver, and a pen voltage tester. You can also use a different type of voltage tester. So the first thing we'll do is turn this on and test and see if there's voltage on these wires. So nothing lights up. If there was power on it, it would beep. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and separate out our wires. So we have the grounds, the one without insulation on, on the left side. The black wires will move to the right side. And the white wires will put in the middle. These are almost a little bit too short. You want to cut it so there's about six inches coming out of the top of the box. So I'll cut these to length. And that one's okay, actually, how it is. Uh, and then we'll just strip the black wire here. Strip it about one inch. And then you take this circle here on the tool and you just bend it over like this. And that's going to create a nice loop that we can put on the screw of the outlet. Now the outlet has two sides. It has a copper screw and it has a silver screw, and then it has a green grounding screw. The silver screws are for the white wire, the copper screws are for the black wires, and the green screw is for these ones that are like copper looking wires. So I'll do the same thing with these white ones, we'll just bend over the ends. And I actually need to go grab a green wire net for these. So these are the grounding wires, and there's two different ways to do this. Kind of a more common way is to use a green wire nut that has a little hole in the end, and it's threaded, and you just slide it in and twist. But another way to do it is that it has these copper crimps. So you just slide it over and slide it all the way in there, and then you use a crimp tool to crimp this copper, this little copper piece. So we're going to be using the, the easier way, just this green wire nut. So for the putting them together, you just slide over. And the reason you don't use a regular wire nut is it would just bind these two wires together. But we, this hole at the end makes it so that we can bring that copper out of that grounding wire and hook it to the green screw, the grounding screw on our device. So we'll just roll over the end of this too. And it makes it really nice for just putting that in there right like that. And then sometimes I'll take my stripper tool and just pinch that a little bit, make sure it gets on there nice and tight. And then I usually use a drill for this part, but you just take the screwdriver or your drill and tighten this down. And you want to do it pretty tight, pretty tight and snug. All right, and then the, I always start with the, the ground first, um, and then I do the neutrals. So I'll slide that, slide those both in over the screw there. And then you can take and crimp, take and uh, tighten that down a little bit if you want to. Okay, so there's that. And then we just tighten the screw down on this one. So now the two sides are done on these. So then we turn it over and do the same thing with the copper screws. So the copper colored screws, and it's going to be the same side of the outlet that has the smaller side, so there's a, a wide part of the outlet and a, and a shorter side of the outlet. So the shorter side is the hot, or the black wire, and the taller wide side is the white wire. So if you're not sure, all of them are on, going to be on the right side, it's going to be the, the blacks go on the right side when you're looking at it straight, the whites are going to go on the left side. But if you're not sure, or maybe you have an outlet that for some reason doesn't have the right color screws then you'll want to match it up with the short and long side. We'll tighten these. Okay, then all we have to do is tuck the wires back in the box. So you just want to tuck them in. Just want to make sure this copper wire here doesn't end up folding over and touching any of the other wires since it is just bare copper. So you'll want to push that one back in there first. And 
sometimes if you put your finger back in there and just tuck the wires, depending on how long or how short they are. Okay, there we go. And then you just screw in the top. There's a screw hole at the top of the box you'll screw in. And then a screw hole at the bottom. So here's our finished outlet. And I wanted to show you, so those two wires we had coming in, or it was actually six wires total. We had the three bla two blacks, two whites, and two copper ground ones. Well, the other, the ones on this side end up going through this wall, and they end up coming up into here, into this switch outlet. And that gives power to this switch, which goes up to power these lights. And the other one is where our power is coming in from, and it goes over this way in the wall, and it comes over to here, it needs to be made up still. So it's, it's one of the wires there, just so you get a reference for where these wires are. Um, and so this is the power is gonna come in and junction and then go through to the outlet that we just did.